grade school. Icy hot, whatever we got available. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so I still uh, like that. the comments. <laughs> <laughs> now, like I, I was you. saying earlier, we I had this one guy. He's uh, they're doing some uh, trim on this uh, porch for me, and this guy swears by uh, Metabo, right? And he's like, he's got this really nice cordless Metabo. You know, he, he paid a pretty penny for it. He's like, yeah, man, we get this uh, hardy plank or the cement board up. But he's like, yeah, my Metabo 18 gauge, it, it, it doesn't have the uh, power to go through the uh, the cement board. I'm like, well, I've got one. Why don't we try that? He's like, okay. And uh, I go to the truck. And as you both know, I, you know, I, I support craftsmen, you know, power tools. I, I grew up with craftsmen. So I, I don't think anything bad about it, but I also know they're not the best right i pull it out the first thing this guy says he's like oh you got a crapsman i'm like yeah well let's let's try it we take a section Man, of party an original comment yeah i know right he's I been, you know he's been waiting like a month he thought of that in the shower like a month ago and he was like oh i gotta use that one day he, he thought of that in the shower like a month ago while he was whacking off to his metabo probably probably and uh so anyway he's like, it's so green guy, and white yeah, and, and this guy, like, he he just, he he hates doing work, and he was trying to find any reason to get off early today. I pulled my craftsman out. Really all the time. Wait, 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 wait. You told me this story at, like, 10 o'clock this morning. How early yeah, is he trying to get off of work? <laughs> Dude, super fucking early. <laughs> like, like I said, when this guy is lazy, like, he does high-quality work. It's just he's close to retirement with the company he works for. So he just, he's like, no shits, just wants to be done with the. Like day, this right? motherfucker punches in at seven o'clock, and he's trying to leave at seven o one. Yeah, pretty much at the latest. And uh, so dude, I can't say much. Point. I punch in between like six thirty and seven every morning, and I'm thinking about lunch. <laughs> right, so I'm thinking about lunch right now, just because I'm fat. <laughs> yeah, what are we having for lunch tomorrow, boys? <laughs> yeah, long story short. I threw a couple of two inch brad nails through this hardy plank into a, a two by four, which is like the same structure we're trying to put the, this trim on goes through. And he's like, well, uh, I mean, craftsman's really gotten better in the last couple of years. I'm like, dude, get to fucking work. So I let him my tool for the day. And, uh, wait a minute. Who owns craftsman? Go ahead and keep telling your story. I'm going to look that up. I'm curious. Yeah. So, uh, um, you know, I let him, I told him, like, hey, you bud, finish up the job. And he's like, okay, awesome. yeah. And uh, he's like, oh, it looks like you only have one battery. Now, this is where things get interesting because this battery I've been using for the last month, I've got one bar left on the three-bar system, right? So it's practically dead. No joke. He used it the rest of the day. Didn't even have to change a battery. And he was to get all, all the hardy plank back up. And I'm just like... Yeah, let's see your Metabo keep up with that. So, for all of you who don't know, Hardy Backer is just literally a big cement board. Oh, okay. They they are owned by Stanley Black and Decker. Really? Kind of yeah. Metabo yeah, like HPT is owned by basically Metabo HPT. Yeah. Shocking. Oh yeah, great comment. MZ VG, whatever. And I'm not even going to refer to you by your name. I'm just going to say, hey, person who I can't fucking pronounce. Like the whole video. I think that's one of those bots that everyone refers to. Could be. Well, at least it's a viewer. I mean, you know, we're getting on the radar enough to get bots. I don't know what that means, but we did it. Being scouting itself were, guys. I, I think that means we've arrived. I just say I came, but yeah, sure. <laughs> I think that's something different. I don't want to sound like old school British, be like, oh, I'll be arriving soon, madam. <laughs> Two if by land, one if by sea. Yeah. Like my Jimmy's uh, thing, I shall be arriving soon. You guys know what they say about Jewish foreplay, right? Oh, we can't do that. No, yeah, let's not go there. Yeah. I was about to say, come on, Nick. <laughs> Easy now. Four hours of begging? Calm down, killer. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, well, now that we got that out of the way, yeah. Well, on this episode, uh, for we'll be for talking our, about the tools. Well, we hold on now for our ones and ones of viewers. We have to do our quote. We're sure we're I'm starting all with that. So have fun. No, I'm doing the quote this time. It's my turn to do the quote. So shut the fuck up so I can. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Don't worry, guys. We're still a little bit disorganized. We just put on this false front to try to look good for YouTube. Oh, I mean, they they had no idea that we weren't like play arguing right there, and you you broke the fourth wall. Good job. All right, so basically, what we're gonna do, what we've decided is we're gonna kind of rotate through different guys of the three of us picking a quote every live show. Hudson had one last week, which or last show, not last week, which was the um, what was it again? Uh, Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades, but a master of none. Yep, master of none, quote. but better master of none, or master of many, or jack of many, but uh. So if you want to know that quote, go to Google and type it in. Yeah, sounds yeah, like it'll, it'll pop up the whole, whole quote. Um, <laughs> did you say it won't pop up the uh, whole quote? Yeah, it, it'll pop up the whole quote. So here, let let, let me get it real quick. Uh, it, it's no, no, Oh my god. All right. Everybody wait while he does a Google. Hey dude, Google's helping me out, right? No, no, no. Nobody say anything. I want this to be awkward. Hi, Jerry. Yeah, we'll we'll make it super, super awkward. Bam. See, you see that's that. what I, I was talking about. You can't do that. You don't have that option at all. I tried to tell you this already and you ignored us. And... I swear to God, you've done it before. I, I did. It was might have been on my phone or something because I used to use my phone for years. Remember? Well, that's just dumb. Well, I don't know. I didn't invent this laptop. HP did. So talk to them and Microsoft. You got to like scroll over it and then it'll say show. No, just no. I can't get it up right now. So that's what she said. <laughs> Well, I stepped right into that one, didn't I? All right, Nick, yeah, take it away. Here we go. That's fucking, what he said to the horde. Anyway. You fucking kicked that door wide-ass open and left it just hanging there. Well, it was my turn to get a quote, and Sorry. mine is not as uh, directly trade-related as Caleb's was on the last show, but I feel like it does apply to our day-to-day -day life, and there's just a tiny bit of backstory that we need to set up for this quote. Um, if you know what movie so, that's from, great. If you don't, no. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody gets me. <laughs> okay, Ricky. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you want a little shake and bake there? That's right. Now we're now we're cooking. Uh, that's also from the campaign, doesn't Zach Galifianakis do that too? When he's talking to him after he announces his candidacy. This is and he's standing there and he's like, I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know. I think I, they used they, that joke twice. They may have. I, you know, it's going to make me rewatch the campaign tonight in order to uh, verify. It's for not next a bad thing. Stream, so stay tuned. For Come back in two weeks for that answer. Yeah. Really. Yeah. So anyway, most people know the story, but I'll do a little bit of backstory on it anyway. The quote that I chose was a quote from Marcus Luttrell, and Ooh. he is from the that, that, Lone... Don't let it, that, let them guess for a minute. See if anybody knows offhand. Let them Marcus guess. Luttrell. All right. Is it, I know there's at least one person that knows who Marcus yeah. Luttrell is. That's anybody right who's now. watching knows who Marcus Luttrell is. Say it in the comments. If you if you do, you win. And uh, what else? Point value you? goes down with every clue that I give you. Yeah. Marcus Luttrell is a Navy SEAL. He was part of Operation Red Wing. Um, uh, yeah, I knew he would get it. Um, yeah, he he yeah, thanks. do do that. Yeah, there you go. Lone yeah. survivor. Good job. Lone survivor. I I knew he was probably going to be the one that was going to grab yeah. that. That's what but she said. uh, right. Uh, so it was Operation Red Wing, which if anybody doesn't know, and you can't tell by the name of the movie Lone Survivor, he was part of a SEAL team that went into Afghanistan. They were doing some uh, basically a recon mission to determine if there was a high value target in a town. Marcus Latro was the only one that walked off the side of the mountain that day. Um, and he's. 
<laughs> well, shut the fuck up and we'll get to that point. <laughs> So he's gone on to become like a big motivational speaker, and he's actually given a couple of college commencement speeches and things like that. And this quote that I'm taking actually comes partly from that and partly from the Operation Red Wing um, story. So the quote goes as follows. And keep in mind, he's telling this to a bunch of people in college that are getting ready to graduate. I was in bad shape. I was dying. I didn't know what to do. I was lying in this tree, looking at the moon, feeling sorry for myself. My brother's a Navy SEAL too, my twin brother. And I was thinking about him and my teammates and all the training that I had been through. I laid there and I was like, you're being a bitch. Get up. Let's go. That's exactly what I said. What was I going to do? Lay down there and die? I wasn't going to do that. I definitely wasn't going to feel sorry for myself. And I kept thinking, okay, I'm alive, man. I'm alive. They fought and died. I'm still alive. So the mission's still on. Let's go. Now, the reason why Marcus Luttrell and President Bush. Oh, you got the book? Nice. Oh, yeah. Those of you yeah, who have the... not read it, read this. I don't like reading books, and I fucking love this book. I don't like reading books book. either, but I... I've got that one. I had to read it for uh, one of my classes. Amazing, amazing I've actually... Story. I don't know if it's on this bookshelf right behind me here, but it's in the... Uh, if not, it's in the other room. I... I do have a major winner's book sitting right next to me, though. But the reason why I chose that particular quote is because that quote is so. It's such a good quote to live by. The just two, two of the uh, fallen seals. And there's a third one on the next page. Continue. I'm just Mike Murphy, uh, Axel, Matthew Axelson. And this is Danny Dietz. Yep. The three who died. Okay. Well, tells but me. It, it, that quote is just such a good quote for just life in general. The, you know, the basically like quit being a bitch, you're alive, get up and do your job kind of thing. And that can definitely be something that as people that work in trades and just people that work in general, but trades can be definitely hard. You're out there, you're working 10, 12, 14, 16 hours a day. It's hotter than all hell on a rooftop. You just want to get home so you can get some food in you because you skipped lunch today. And sometimes, like, I'll think about that and just be like, you know what? This isn't that bad. I'm not in Afghanistan with a broken spine, literally crawling my way to a yeah, Afghani shrapnel, village. Shrapnel on my leg, a bullet in my other leg. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, he bit his tongue off, swallowed part of it. I mean, just... Pretty much everything you could like put time. somebody through before, you know, actually killing them. Yeah. So it would be worse. Believe it or not, guys, Look I actually I... Uh, actually met him in person. Nice. Yeah. At my uh, the college I went to, the settle, he uh, he actually came. He was one of the guest speakers. So, At a naval uh, college? It, it's not a naval college. It's just the military college of South Carolina. But he uh, he went around to a lot of the uh, service academies and stuff. Um, shortly after it's his book came out, kind of a naval up. college. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we got a Navy ROTC program, but I mean, we got all all four branches and the Coast Guard. They're not really a branch, but you know, I'll give them a shout. They out. are de- they are part of the Department of Defense, though. So. They are. They are. They get Which a lot of crap. Becomes the Department of War in times of war. Exactly. But um, yeah, no, he uh, he really level-headed guy and like he he's like yeah what i did was just pretty much like what anyone else could have done should have done if they're in the same shoes so um absolutely like me, meeting him in person was pretty uh pretty interesting you know but uh i remember in texas i'm gonna try to find his house I'm just be like hey you might want to call first no yeah. if he's like what the fuck are you doing here i'm just gonna go like this yeah, he uh, what, whenever he came uh, to my college, it was right after there was some dude that uh, stole his um, his service, uh, not his service dog, but his um, well, yeah, it it was a service dog. They like shot his dog, dog, I think his, his rehab dog. From whenever Didn't he got they shot back. his dog or something too. What's that? Didn't they like shoot his dog or something too? Because I remember hearing like a a nine one one tape or something about it. 
No, they all they did, they uh, kidnapped it. His, his dog that. was like running okay, the yard, and they too. reached through the fence and grabbed it. And uh, then he chased them down. And uh, he made they're like, Sir, stop following. We got the information. He said, No, you better get here now because either you get to them and stop them, or I'm he gonna fucking kill them. Yeah, I, I remember hearing a part of the tape. He's like, I'm chasing him with a gun right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, if you ever think life is tough, um. Think of, um, I'll use Danny as an example. Um, the last one I showed, so I'll pull his picture up again um, just so everybody can reference as well who I'm talking about. Um, Danny Dietz was one of the guys killed that day, this gentleman right here. And um, he was shot probably, what, he was shot probably like, what, five or six times total? Something like that. But um, uh, that, that, he, this it's before he was shot five or six times before or after he got blown up by an RPG and thrown but, down a, a hillside. Yeah. But he was shot like five or six times. He was still alive, but he was shot in like the neck and the chest and the legs and the back and like everywhere. And if he I was remember the story right, gun. and um, he didn't die until Marcus was dragging him back and he took a bullet between the eyes. And and that's he was why, like that's shot, how Marcus uh shot in the neck and everything and still kept fighting. Michael Murphy, before he died, he was shot twice in the chest and still lived. Um Axelson had been shot in the chest twice and once in the head and was still fighting before he died. And actually, when they got blown up, um they got blown off a cliff, and that's the, was the last time that Marcus had ever seen uh Matthew hey. Axelson and where he that was the last time he landed. saw Danny too, I think. Well, Danny got dropped first because he was got shot between the eyes. He I was think... being drug away, and Danny got shot between the eyes, and Marcus dropped him because he was dead. So there was no point they were, in dragging him. Well, they and, were gonna they were gonna go down the uh, they were gonna jump off the cliff. Yeah, and yeah. he got Danny got shot between the eyes, and then that's when he dropped him and just jumped. Um, but. Uh, Axelson got shot twice in the chest, shot once in the head, got blown up by the RPG. And then when they recovered his body, like when, when he got blown off the cliff, he had nothing but his Beretta M9 and five magazines, I think, left. When they recovered his body, it was nowhere near where he would have roughly landed. And he was down to just one magazine. So he still lived and kept fighting for eventually dying. So... Whenever you think life is bad, think of them guys. Yeah, and we'll talk on this real quick for just a second until uh, Caleb comes back here. Well, I don't know where he went. Yeah. We don't need him anyway. <clears throat> um, He's just got but emotional support. For anyone that doesn't know, the way that he got off that mountain – was he took a rock in his hand and he drew a line and he said, I'm going to crawl until my feet are past that line. And if I'm not dead, I'm going to draw another line and I'm going to crawl to that line. And he did that all night long until he got to where those um, villagers found him and took him refuge. Yeah. So um, he probably crawled for probably what, like three days or something before he was even something found. like that. He, yeah, he so, crawled for probably two or three days. I know it was at least two days. He probably crawled for th two or three days before he was found by the villagers. It was probably like, probably damn near a week or maybe even almost two weeks total before the rangers even got to him and found him. No, the movie doesn't depict it very well. It depicts it like it was basically the next morning he was found and then by that afternoon. Yeah, no. But the, if you read the book, it, it really accounts for yeah. everything. But yeah, I mean that's just I mean, another... not to say that the movie wasn't good and everything like that because Marcus himself was actually in the movie. Um, yep, he was in the back of one of the helicopters that gets blown up when yeah, the RF goes in, in again. Back, he was in back mm. of the uh, Chinook helicopter that got blown up with Commander Christensen and mm -hmm. Jane Patton and all them guys in it. Um, he was also he's in, in a couple of scenes, but that's yeah he was he was that's in the, the best where, one to see him. Yeah, he was um, he was in the scene also. Where, uh, um, the guy, the guys who play, um, um, Mike Murphy and and Danny and 
uh, Matthew, uh, or kind of hassling him out, hassling Shane Patton outside. He was in there as Frankie. And then he was also in the debrief for the mission. And he was also in the ceremony where the guy who plays Shane Patton was dancing around like an idiot, you know, Mm -hmm. is the kind of seal initiation. So Uh, the movie's not bad, of course. It's just, it's no, it's definitely not a bad movie. You can't depict that whole scenario and, you know, in a two, in a two and a half hour movie. Yeah, you just really can't do it. Great movie to watch, though. Watch the movie. More importantly, though, read this. As soon as Hudson gets back, though, we could probably, we're probably pretty close to starting here. I got, I'm on my third drink already, so we can't go too long or I'll be stuttering like a re re on basalt. You going to stay with us this time, or you going to take a premature exodus again? Yeah, you talk uh, about that contract man, trying to leave work early. Jesus Christ. Man, what do you suppose? Okay. Well, we got pretty far off topic and spent 20 minutes talking about uh, U.S. Navy SEALs, but I think it's a worthy topic. I think it is, too. You guys want to see where I was today? Yeah. You want to see where I was today? I'm right here in, the, in between these four walls. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> well, I was not right there in between those four walls. I'm going to try and remove him and see if we can add him it's, back in. It's fucking, it's kick He's using a Craftsman computer. Hey, it's he's Craftsman, like, remember? That's right. Yeah, he's going to like lag out again. Oh. So this is where I got to go today. Super safe facility. I mean, safety is paramount. So, let's see. If you guys have your audio up, you may want to uh, kick it down. I, I muted it. It should be muted. Oh, okay, okay. If it's not muted, kick it down a little bit because it will be loud. We previewed this video beforehand. Oh, what's happening? Is it not playing? Oh, what's happening? Oh, look it's at that. On the it's like high definition right now. Whoa. Yeah, what did you do? You're on your cell phone, aren't you, Hudson? <clears throat> I keep calling you Hudson. I guess I could call you Caleb in here, but it doesn't feel right. Hang on. Hang I certainly on. can't call you what you are on my phone. Let's not. All right. <laughs> Bring that up. And we'll hit play and see if it works this time. Does it work this time? No, why is it not working? Nick was oh, in no. a, a very black room today. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, no video. We're going to have to work out the finer points on that or something. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Let me try one last thing before we declare fudge. Okay. Where is... Hang on, hang on. Hudson's internet is working. He's got the McDonald's to upgrade to something other than dial-up. He's he's upgraded uh, from uh, he's upgraded from McDonald's to like Wendy's or Subway. Let's see if this works. Dude, it's like not working, and it's making me angry, and it makes me want to. Lash out irrationally at those around me. All right. Well, we'll have to work on that. So far, this has been packed full of content. It has. Why don't you talk about your thing since that <laughs> that we know we can do. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That we know we can do. We, we, we got to do this first. Okay. Caleb is using a Craftsman computer. There we go. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I have to make sure that is known. He is using a Craftsman computer right now. Hey, come on. I, I'm using the same battery the guy used today. I had to swap it out. You know, shit happens, right? Is that is that what it was? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I got to talk now. Did, did you please tell me you put something down about Craftsman in your list? Uh, I did not, you know, but I'll, I'll try to add <laughs> something in there. <laughs> you know, you just I, start talking. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll work on that. I mean, I, I was going to say because, um, yeah. So obviously today is going to be kind of history of hand tools. Um, so guys, 
first and foremost for all you super internet critics that might be out there none of this stuff is like novel worthy none of this shit is like derived from one specific source or anything like that um this is all stuff mixed with what i've read stuff that i obviously know just being a tradesman and everything like that um especially some stuff like towards industrial revolution era and um modern day stuff um just because one i use modern day tools so i know a lot about modern day tools um and as far as industrial revolution shit um it was something that was big and covered in history class in high school which i love because i'm a history buff um, that's why we get along buddy yeah um so let's start out with the definition of a hand tool for some of you out there who maybe aren't tradesmen who uh you know, not you. You don't have to be a tradesman. You know, there's wait, 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 wait. I gotta get this one in. Caleb's the biggest tool we got here. All right, there. Now, Greeky can't say it. What? Come on. He's a better tool than his craftsman is. But um. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um. So That's a hand tool, tool is actually any tool in which the work that it's going to be doing is generated by you, not by an electric motor, not by a gas motor or years gone by steam uh, powered things and coal powered things and everything like that. So it's just strictly work you're doing with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Hudson's gone again. I just can't. I, oh, God. We've been having problems since this like started. Me and Nick had a lot of communication problems before we even got on here. So um, don't know what it is today. But uh, yeah, that's not wanting to cooperate today. Yeah. But Greeky, you definitely on. need a Milwaukee hat. All three of us have Milwaukee hats, so, you know. I know. You guys are twinsies. Yeah, me and Hudson are really? twinsies. We both got the gray Milwaukee's on. Um, I do plan on getting the other two, the black and the red, just because. Oh, the red one looks sweet, dude. Yeah, it does. Um, okay, so definition of hand tool. Um, I'll wear my where I'm going there. What, where I'm going from there is basically just some examples for you guys, so. Um, like I said, a lot of you are going to know stuff like this, but I'm just covering the basics for, we do have some people who watch, you know, who don't do that. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with, you know, however you make your living, as long as it makes you happy and provides the life you want. Um, so you're going to be looking, it, it could be the Russians. They might be hacking us. It could be the Chinese. They're, they're the finally too. making their move. Yeah. I have to tell them to after this is over. Nonetheless, um, you're looking at wrenches, pliers. Um, different types of wire cutters and cutters in general, files, hammers, screwdrivers, knives, stuff like that are all considered hand tools. Yes, I know nowadays knives may be not considered as much of a tool as they are a weapon, but their original purpose was not a weapon. They were using them as tools, and that's something nice. A tool, I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, right. That's nowadays it, it, it's all a tool to me because I'll tell you right now, this may look like a weapon, but I can't. This thing has never stabbed anyone except for me when it opens accidentally in my pocket and boxes and letters. Knife. Hey, knife's a tool. You can't talk a seatbelt off of a car crash victim. I'm going to tell you that right now. You, you can kidding. cut it off. I, I, I sure, I, I tell you right now, I, I sure as hell can't uh, chew my way through that tape on that box when I get it in the mail either. I have. Shut up, Caleb. We can tell by your internet what you know that you've done shit like that. I mean, you know, um, man's got to do what a man's got to do to get into his tools. So, basically, um, hand tools date all the way back to like prehistoric times. Shit, we don't even know about because there was literally there's no evidence from that time. There was no people around recording anything or nothing like that. Well, um, I think you probably ran into the same thing that I did when I was doing the history of the trades. It's like, how far back are we going to take this and what are we right. going to qualify as a tool? Because if you so, find a caveman that uses a rock to bash open a coconut, right. that's technically a tool, but it's like, so where do I draw the line on how much information right. I'm going to put in this? So basically my information is going to consist of the origins of things. Um, so there's going to be a little bit on that, but stuff, but basically I used, obviously I can't use prehistoric times because again, it's prehistoric. If you don't know what that means, well, hit yourself in the head with a tack hammer. Maybe that'll help. Um, I'm going to use stuff. From like you say, it's Africa. twenty mile away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I will hit you in the head with a tack hammer because you are a word I can't say on YouTube. 
like well, they I've seen other the, people uh, say airplane. it, but we'll be the ones to get in trouble for it. Yeah, exactly. Like he said on the airplane mm-hmm. when, when they were talking. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna Hi, be talking. On Earth, have we met? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So basically, you know, there were a lot of different tools back in ancient times, Stone Age and stuff like that. I mean, a lot would probably be like you know six, but um. The two basic things, realistic six is six hundred percent more than zero. Yeah, exactly. Um, the two basic things that they all evolved from were a hammer and a knife. Um, they always needed to pound something. They were breaking open that coconut. They were trying to pound a stake into the ground to to maybe hold a tent down or something that they had made, and Build then shelter. Right. You yeah. know, and so then they're building that shelter. All well, they need something to cut different twine they had made with and materials that they're making their shelter out of whatever they were using, whether they were using hide from animals or whatever, you know, I don't know. I didn't live back then. I don't really care to know about back then. It's not an interesting my time time. In my opinion, I don't care. So if you don't like it, well, here. Um, so, but it, basically, it, hey, you know what? if you don't like it, I'll tell you what, go over to like the, bottom right underneath the video here there's a button that says subscribe go ahead and uncheck that because i think you're in the wrong thing yeah exactly if you're well, watching if you a... agree, huh let's go ahead and subscribe like and then don't watch us again yeah, yeah you, can, you can do that too but the point is you're using a piece of 22nd century 21st century technology and you're bitching that it's not before we had clothing right Anyhow, back to where we were. Um, so your oldest tools were some sort of hammering device and some sort of cutting device. Um, so tools originated Jesus to literally. Christ, he's going hard on the white claws. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that who that is? <laughs> That's who I that is. I can't remember what his YouTube name is. So, yeah, you better slow down over there, pal. I know what you drink. Um. Anyway. So basically what they were using for a hammer is just literally whatever rock they had. Okay. Um, And so, you know, rocks come in varying sizes, shapes, everything else. So not every rock is going to be ideal for pounding and it's not going to be ideal for (laughs) carrying around. Um, So sorry, Jay. uh, I was fine until you started laughing because I had the exact same thought. (laughs) Dude, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. (laughs) <laughs> you guys are ruining it, man. I worked really it, hard it, for like, like 30 minutes on this, guys. Come on. <laughs> um, but so right. keep going, Jay. Keep 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 pounding away. You got this, so but yeah, exactly. So that's when they really started to kind of shape things. That's when you started to see things take the shape of mallets and things that you see now. And they were attaching pieces of wood and stuff to them like that. You know, shit back then was just literally like tied a stick on. Um, and actually, so. Uh, on that same note, um, knives back then, knives were actually kind of interesting back then. They used, um, traditionally, they used wood and bone a little bit. Um, but a big thing that they used, and a lot of stuff I've seen in different videos and stuff, is they use flint a lot. And flint is actually a type of rock itself, but it's something that's not that hard to use another rock in order to shape it, to carve it and shape it into a knife. So they started to use them because realistically you can't cut with the point of a rock that well for very long. Or if you're skinning an animal using a big round rock doesn't help. Okay. Smart asses. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, they still use rocks today for knives. Um, They do obsidian knives. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a big thing. Yeah. It's used for Um, surgery. Yeah. I I surgery, right? Correct. It's the sharpest uh, knife you can get. I actually learned some of this from a, a, a company out there who I won't mention because just because I don't want them to see it somehow and get a trademark thing or whatever. But there's a video on YouTube of somebody demonstrating a sharpening system. You two may know this. Um, but before that, he started talking the history of knives. His name is Sal Glesser, if you don't know who I'm talking about. The company I'm talking about. Their knives have a big hole for your thumb. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so he was actually discussing early knives and they were flint and how they could do that is they could take a 
piece of flint. They would take another rock and press against it to create the shape and have an edge that they were using for, you know, not only their spears and stuff like that and arrows to kill animals, but then they were using it to skin them that they made their clothing out of and stuff like that and maybe use the hide to make pouches to hold things and whatever, whatever shelter, whatever, and, and everything that they were going to use to survive. So, yes, knife is a knife is a tool. So, fuck you, CNN. Um you like how I threw that in there? Everybody like that? Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> so, you know, that was what they used for knives for years. And then they actually eventually developed, they they made, they found either found flat stones or developed flat stones. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, this is a very, very, very in-depth thing, and it's really hard to go back and get tit for tat, everything what happened. Um, but they eventually used flat stones and sharpened, the flint, so they actually realistically invented the original flat sharpening stone. Um, and this is millions of years ago. So it, it, it's quite interesting to see how far back that it goes. Um, now, sometimes later, metals were being discovered and things like that. And one of the first metals that were they were making tools out of was actually copper. And because copper is very malleable, it's very easy to work without extensive heat or other tools to actually pound it into shape. Um, this isn't even on my notes. This is just shit I've read. Um, so that was actually kind of like the next wave of things, um, just because one, when they made it into whatever tool they were using, if they made it into a hammer of sorts or a hatchet that they were using to hack away trees, I knew he was going to leave eventually because he was frozen. Um, or they were making a knife out of it because it was actually a metal it was still better than the stone. Maybe it didn't have the same edge retention as a stone or not. I don't know. I didn't live back then, as you might assume. Um, but You look right. really good for your age. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you know, it was, it was amazing. You know, back then, I, if somebody come up to me and, you know, we wanted to go out on a date, I just went, oh, you know, with my eyes open, and that was. I don't good think you even had to do that. I think you just it, drag them back to the, your cave. Yeah, well, it, it, if I didn't like them, I would close my eyes and then just say the same grunt. Um, but nonetheless, he's, he's uh, got this really cool pixelated thing going on now. That's yeah, cool. I, I like it. It's it's like a form of modern art. Oh yeah, he needs <laughs> to just, get a Wi-Fi extender. Just go in your fucking house. He can't. He hates his family. <laughs> Go in your house. The Wi-Fi is better. Stop using McDonald's. God, I'm gonna snooze that one. Anyway, um, but either way, I, I'm telling you, he's going hard on those white claws tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you, every time I look over, it's like it's something else fucking ridiculous, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, man, you're killing like, me. He's like drunk texting an ex-girlfriend over here. <laughs> it's just every thought that comes through his mind. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Um, so, but they were you when they were using the copper. It, even if it didn't have as good of an edge retention, they could get a better edge. You could skin the animal a lot longer. more easily, you know, and you could, you know, chop the wood better because you had a much finer edge on it. So at the time, you know, it's a good choice. Um, now. Let's see here. Where am I? I I'm kind of talking a little bit on my own. Um, there wasn't much for me to find. It's a weird way to spell Caleb. <laughs> there wasn't much for me to find in the way of bone knives. Um, and not, I know they make stuff out of that now. Uh, I don't care about now. It was more or less back then. Um, so I couldn't find a lot about it back then. Mostly everything from back then was flint and then, you know, on into the era of metals. Um, so I don't have much upon that type of stuff, which I don't think it's going to be a loss anyway, because there's still there's already an overwhelming amount of content on things like that. Um, so you know, the funny part is, is I don't think his comment is actually going to show up on YouTube. I don't think that one is. I don't think it will. I think the three of us can see that. Greeky, but I, I think, don't think, I think he used the word one. that he's not allowed to use. Which mm -hmm. one? So. <laughs> um. So, <laughs> How the fuck did he but, do um, that? <laughs> what the fuck 
just happened? <laughs> <laughs> he just like went sideways. He just turned sideways. He's like, poof, back here I am. Like, like nothing happened. That's fucking hysterical. <laughs> and it's funny because well, it didn't even look like he 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 budged at all. Like, no, sitting. It just literally went whoop and then back. <laughs> all right. So, uh, quick disclaimer, right? Uh, computer went down, so I'm on my phone. Got a new phone last weekend. Not according to YouTube, it ain't. Yeah, no, I know, I know. No, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> it is a name, but YouTube might not see it that way. You got to think of what era we live in, pal. Okay, um, back on subject because if I don't, if I don't get back on subject, we'll lose this real quick. Oh, dude, um, we already lost it. Yeah, we already lost it. Um, I don't but, know. I mean, given so, the circumstances, I think we're doing pretty well. Yeah, really. Given the three of us in, in the same fucking place, you know. And as many times as Jay said, pound. <laughs> he's just reminiscing on all the times he's like, ah. I, I, um, we've, already, we've already established that I've come from that time. So, I mean, all we had to do back then was pound and cut. You know, pound shit into ground, pound <laughs> lady's butt. You know, even back then we knew what angel was. We knew not to impregnate that one. You know, oh shit! And I, uh, I'm talking about stuff that can't be said on YouTube, and I'm talking about fucking cave women in the ass. Anyway, uh, at least you pound enough to come. I think that's still a crime in certain states, buddy. Well, it probably um, is. They're nothing but skeletons now. That's considered necrophilia. That too. Dave, I'm glad that you came enough back then to uh, get caught up to now. Yeah, thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Um. But so to give you guys an idea how far this goes back, the earliest known um, knife dates back 2.5 million years. Mm. So, we had some stuff like that on the uh, on the history of the trades. I mean, like clothing and stuff dated back. Yeah, like, it, it, it really forever. goes back. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. What do we got here? Uh, I'm not going to discuss that just because I think that's stupid. Um, okay, so we're going to fast forward. You wrote your notes. Why'd you put it in there? I really don't even know. Like, at this point, I think I was just probably drunk and desperate. Oh, holy crap. They rallied at the end there. Yeah, they Come really back did. Two points, and they still put one more point up on them. Right, good for them. They're definitely going to the playoffs um, this year. So we're going to fast forward, like, a lot of years. Maybe, like, 2.4 million years. Maybe 2.4 and a half. Um, yeah, give or take a couple thousand years. Who's right. counting there? So, so um, craftsmen, they made this tool. <laughs> Lifetime warranty. Oh, buddy, I know when craftsmen started. Don't worry, we're getting ready to drop a freaking bomb on you. We're, we're going to drop a fucking bomb on you, pal. Um, Bring it. Bring it. But so the people who actually discovered, at least from what I've read, the first ones that were starting to forge tools. So they were actually forging things out of metal. So this is like kind of after the copper era. This is where kind of like iron ore is kind of coming in and things like that. Whatever they're discovering back then were actually the ancient Greeks. And so there were they were the ones that were actually they weren't he's, he's gonna comment on that guaranteed. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fuck your ancestors. <laughs> My hammer is better. Already did, 2. Yeah. 4 million I can pound years. things much better. It is so much more pound than the pound that they had. Oh, oh you, you, you. <laughs> But um, uh, it's okay. So, I think the Turks already did that for us. Exactly. <laughs> um, so they weren't they weren't like making tools kind of like you see them now. Like a hammer is a solid one piece construction. With you know, they weren't quite doing that. They were just kind of making the striking portion of it and then they were attaching the wood and other things to it like that so you know still you could still buy a hammer with a wooden handle and everything obviously they didn't look like the hammers nowadays but they wow i'm surprised they let that one through I figured they would like what he just said really oh, yeah it. they let it through it came up on youtube no shit hang on yeah. you keep talking i'll be right back yeah but um, so they were they were the ones that were kind of really starting to get it. They were really starting to make the modern hammer and knife. And, you know, they were kind of making hatchets and they were actually 
what what what's kind of really interesting is even in for the anyone AFC, that doesn't know, hammer. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, what what's what kind of was really interesting is the Greeks were actually like they were pretty damn good with tools considering the the time frame it was. I don't have the exact time frame that it was because, well, it was just my laziness realistically. Um, but nonetheless, um, they were actually starting to like form like the hacksaw, what we know it as today. But what you would see is like a cross cut saw. They were starting to develop saws with teeth and everything like that. And so, you know, you're talking BC times here, but these guys were really, really, really ahead of things. And they were really advanced considering what they had to work with, which was basically nothing. That whole area was like that, man, because the Romans were pretty advanced and all. I, I was going to say, yeah, and and the Romans are one of the ones that are kind of in that mix. Um, I think the Greeks ju- got it got it first, um, but to say they were the only ones that had a hand in developing what we know today is completely false because the Romans um, really worked hard at it too. So between the two of them, also uh, really started putting forth things today and a actually, lot of parts of asia too uh yeah. china japan places yeah, like that they were they were in that they were into well. that stuff too. um the romans are the ones yeah. who actually came up with the claw hammer that we all know and use today um because they were starting to build homes and different not buildings. a claw hammer not a claw hammer not that that's a pound it, hammer yeah that's that's it's actually a, a that's a body that's hammer actually, for a car that's actually a pound pound hammer, you know, because it's a pound on this side and a pound on that side. That's a double pounder there. Yeah, that's that's a good. technical term, but you know. yeah, I'd say it weighs about two pounds. Oh, okay. Well, so you see, there you go. Now that's pretty fucking technical right there. I'm gonna drink again. There we go, Jay. There yeah. boy. I also have a piston for an airplane sitting next to me and spark plugs for an airplane sitting up there somewhere. Why? <laughs> Because you never know when you're going to need them. That's why. Duh. Fair enough. Um, They're parts for the apocalypse. Yeah. That revolution kicks off, buddy. You're going to be glad I got these things. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess we're going to be the only militia with. We're going to be the only militia with upwards of three plane parts. Yeah. <laughs> three more than the others. Exactly. Unless they're like people who are revolting that work at like you know. As an aviation mechanic or something. Silence. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, but the Romans were actually the ones who developed the claw hammer because at that time they were really starting to use nails a lot. And they were, yeah, we know they were good with nails. That's true. That's true. You know, whether you were nailing two pieces of wood together or whether you were nailing someone to a cross, you know, it, they were, they knew at some point that nail would have to come out. There's also another direction you could take that joke to. Yeah, well, we're we're, we're just, not going to go down that though. No, we, we I think I've already gone too far about nailing the crosses and everything else. We may have gone too far. Yeah, I, I feel like I shouldn't walk outside during a thunderstorm for like the next couple weeks. Just going to say, you need to get out the cross. We need the wood. He has a point. So, Man's right. He's right. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, so yeah, moving on. Uh, Kind of fast forward uh, a little bit of time here. So more into the Industrial Revolution time. Um, the, for lack of a better term, the Industrial Revolution was a revolution of industrial items. Um, so most of the things that have evolved into what we know today have come from that time. That's it's, when it, it took place between about 1730 was, and about 19. Yeah, it, it, it was like the what was it, the 18th and 19th century was like the big, big time, at least from what yeah. I'm reading. That's yeah, it, yeah, it, it's not an, there's no way to say when it exactly just started and when it exactly stopped. Because oh, I'm I sure if you still, ask them, they'll, uh, they'll tell yeah, you, you, you ask exactly. someone, you know, we're still kind of in. An industrial revolution of sorts because we're everything industrial right now is still continuously evolving. So, um, to say that it 
and it is kind of I've stupid. actually heard yeah. people say too that there's like multiple industrial revolutions at yeah. this point. So but it's, um it's a basically the the basic the the just of the this is the industrial revolution we're speaking of was a time in which we were moving from primitive things, you know, shit that people were just beating and everything and they're they're sticking together with hands that we're moving into stuff that is actually machinery now manufacturing equipment stuff powered by primarily back then a lot of steam and then some some like forges and stuff like that a lot of stuff powered by coal um and you actually it goes right up to electricity too yeah exactly one of the biggest things invented back then was the electric generator you know and so that was something that they could really use what was that 1825 or something the electric generator i thought it was i think it was 31 maybe 1831 it, it, either way it was the early 1800s electric generators made so now matthew they, faraday invented it there we go yeah um so it doesn't matter when um, it matters who they don't ask how they ask how many they found a really efficient way to make this equipment run using electricity and then so this is a time in which these tools that were traditionally, you know, pounded together by hand, um, now they're starting to be able to actually produce things. And so then now, as not only the way of manufacturing things is advancing, because now we're manufacturing all our different textiles and everything like that. So we're actually manufacturing, you know, stuff that can be used to make clothing and everything like that. Um, but then we're also expanding as a civilization. Now there's, you know, the population's growing and growing and growing. So we're starting to develop, develop little cities and everything like that. And so that's where stuff like the claw hammer and those saws that the ancient Romans and Greeks were messing with are starting to really come into play because people are using that stuff to build homes. They're using it to build businesses. This is when civilization is really starting to grow into what we know today. Um, all the way up until May 20th, 1927, when craftsmen invented the first thing that they came out with. And ever since then, they've been making shitty tools and computers. <laughs> Make computers? Oh. <laughs> That's what they got to leg up on me. Hey, man. I mean... Hey, our, our shit works when we're done with it. Yeah, exactly. There's a reason they give you a lifetime warranty with it. <laughs> I want to go back to the store 20 times to get a freaking 5 16th wrench. Every, every, everything used to be lifetime warranty back in the day. It's not that cut and dry anymore. They're, they've cut back quite a bit on that. All right, boys. I mean, they, they, <laughs> they, 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 they I think you can, no, 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 no. Today, craftsman, I think you can go to Walmart and get craftsman tools. Nope. It's hard now, dickhead. Hard and hyper tough. Exactly. He knows okay. the brands. He gets his shit at Lowe's, bro. <laughs> Lowe's and Amazon. Calm the fuck down. Hey, dude. Oh, dude I he, was all, he was you. all about some craftsman tools, and then I gave him that Milwaukee combo set, and he's like, dude, these are so much better. Exactly. <laughs> hey, dude, the tool he's like, I, I, I don't know, I don't know what to do with my hands anymore. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, look, look what I'm wearing, all right? That's right. In all right. fairness, he did say that Craftsman was not the best, you know, but he never admitted that they were exactly. the worst. So. He did uh, not, not admit that they were the worst. They are not. They are not. Well, who would you, Apparently, who would you rank as the worst? Though. Apparently, Mitsabo is. <laughs> I think they were Bosch, and I had a Bosch drill and wasn't really impressed with it. The only thing I had by Bosch that I always really, that always really worked well for me was an SDS hammer drill. But... Oh, thank God. I thought you were about to say you got an STD from Bosch. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I was about to say, that, like, okay. That's a different <laughs> one. I had to get a discount somehow. <laughs> it's, 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 it's all right. They got penicillin now. That was invented around the same time that, uh, yeah, exactly. That they invented craftsman tools, and it's fine. <laughs> but anyway, so <laughs> no, now that <laughs> it's only a difference of about 15 years, honestly. Penicillin was what, 1913? Oh, fuck. I don't know. I, I don't care about medical history. The only Let's thing I'm interested what, in medically you is... You at a hospital, you douche. That doesn't mean I give a fuck about the people that were in it or how they got there. Fair enough. 
<laughs> they cheated in grad school. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, fuck, I mean, Christ, some of them, you would think they fucking never mind. Oh, 1928, dude. Oh, my God. How did I freaking know that it was right around that same time? How is your internet now becoming a... Uh, because because I'm searching things. And Christ, Monica's, Monica's, Hudson, Monica's he's watching fucking crystal clear, room, and dude. I can actually see him move. This is, like, well, fucking legendary. Mine will come me? back here in just a second. Oh, there yours is. is back, but... Anyway, um, so during this time as well, as not only they are creating equipment to manufacture things, but then also this is when things things starting moving forward with making replaceable parts. And so then like that's, that. when, that's when people really started inventing further. You He's know, trying so hard. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying so hard. I really gave no fucks about this at all. <laughs> He's trying so hard right now, though. We just keep interrupting. Yeah, fuck it. I don't really care. Caleb looks glorious. Well, it doesn't he always? <laughs> Except for when he's not pixelated. Is, is, that, is that an old school reference? Please tell me that's oh, an old school dude. reference. Dude, this is... <laughs> okay, so the new phone I got, the Google Pickle, Pixel 6, if I could say it he right. He got a fucking Google Pickle, bro. Yeah, <laughs> he googled this pickles. <laughs> this is why our channel never really takes off and becomes more than this because we're too busy fucking around. Because we drink while we do this, <laughs> and as the show goes on, we give less and less fucks. <laughs> Literally, m everybody who like watches our shit still has seen me without pants. I we really still have to make good on that promise, man. Uh -oh. Yeah. We're gonna leave that. We, we get we we get we get twenty we get twenty viewers. Jay will light himself on fire on camera, and then run down the street naked. Wasn't it something like that? It's like something. Let's ridiculous. just see if we can get the twenty viewers. If we get twenty five viewers, I will literally light my pubes on fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Somebody had a suggestion about Germex. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I did earlier. Um, Grade school boys. So yeah, um, you know, industrial revolution shit. It's kind of, it's kind of, it, it, it's kind of dry to talk about um, because obviously now the manufacturing equipment's getting better. Um, you well, know, and, the, and your major players were invented. Your screwdriver was invented. Right. You had the hammer. You, you had the saw. You started. You started to kind of have really that basic tool set you know you have a hammer you have a saw you have a screwdriver you have these different things that were coming out um so you were really starting to kind of and that and that's kind of a time in my opinion where you were really starting to see the craftsman the person themselves because this is, this is this is where they were yeah i i i know that reference okay there, there's Thank more than one. I, I think that was that. intentional. That there's more than one reference point to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not, not only are you a craftsman guy, but you know there's another craftsman there that we're yeah. referring to. Um, and they use what craftsman <laughs> tools? No, they didn't. Not, not in my experience. No, they don't. No, the last time I checked in 1750, they weren't using craftsman tools. <laughs> because Even they, they, they were shit back then. <laughs> it's nothing to do with them not being around for another 150 years yeah, no. they're like them chinese fucks can't make no damn tolls uh, sorry they're American anyway, at one this, got, this got way off topic um hey where's milwaukee made at i know exactly uh, they used to be made in uh brooksfield wisconsin used to be. <laughs> but wait 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 how about now now they are made. Depends on what you're exactly. looking at. The power tools are made in China, unfortunately. Yeah. The hand tools, some of those are still made um, in America. What's the... Uh, I want to say some of the hand tools are like Vietnam or something, too. Like some, Something like that, some yeah. Asian, Either way. I got a couple of boxes over here. I can go look. I don't think it's worth it. No, not, not with the time cool. we got left. Our, our yeah. hats still say what is superior. 
Where's the hat yeah. made? Oh, the hat's made in Bangladesh. Oh, there you go. See? That's not China. Come on. It's like China's little brother, sure, but it's not China. Yeah, I mean, their eyes are still... Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all, all I know about Bangladesh is uh, apparently they're banging. I like how all three of us had to check the hat. Like, we couldn't... Oh, you had to look at our hats. On it. <laughs> what the hell is this shit made? Is he right? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Who the fuck are you talking to? Don't make me throw your name out there. No, it, it, it was about me. Oh, okay. Well, I don't care about you. Anyway. It's a stuttered about the uh, pickled phone. <laughs> pickled phone. Uh, hey, tell them yeah. what you have them listed in your phone as. <laughs> let, let, let's not go there. Let, let, let's yeah, leave that know. story Come out on, of the, Nick. Let, Let's leave that story <laughs> out of the channel. <laughs> we... I'd have to have quite a few more drinks before I let that go. <laughs> What year are we up to? 1750? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, in 2022, uh, Milwaukee's coming out with a... Uh... They did just... Re Never mind. I'll, I'll save that for the end. Oh, God. Anyway. So, let's fast forward to more modern day shit now. So, back then... Back then, yes, tools were made with equipment, so they were using various um, power tools and things like that to make it. But nowadays, we're using more. <clears throat> they're using machines. They're using um, probably a lot of CNC machines. Um, I don't understand a lot about CNC machines, and I really don't care to because that's not my forte. Um, well, they're made by by tools, so. Exactly. Nowadays, tools are made by tools, and those tools can in sense do tool-like things, which is generally pounding things that need pounded from pounding devices. Bonus All points right. to anyone in the chat who can tell me what CNC stands for without Googling it. <clears throat> yeah. I, I know what it means. I, 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 I know what it means. I don't even really give a fuck, really. It means nothing. The disc The name does not describe what it does at all. Yeah, I actually really don't like CNC machines, truthfully. And that's just coming from a totally different perspective of something completely unrelated. So I'm not going to go there. Um, but so everything nowadays, you know, you're talking stuff that is extremely mass produced. You know, Industrial Revolution, um, you were talking. Exactly. I, I kind of figured it was something like it's, that. It's computer numerical control, idiot. I kind of figured it was something like that because I've New seen Eric, how what machines work. So, but I didn't really know the technical term for it. I'm not going to say that I did because I didn't, but I figured it was something like that because I had seen on different things of how they actually input what it's going to make. But nonetheless, um, so back then, you know, they were kind of producing that they were kind of finally able to produce enough things to fit the people who needed them. Now you're producing so much shit. There is literally probably 50 times the amount of tools on the planet than there are people because there's just so much shit out there. And, you know, nowadays there's a lot less attention to quality, unfortunately, than there's also a lot more towards um, specialized you need to have yeah. this special bit to fit in this right right so particular screw head to do it, it, exactly because you know a, a big a big uh example of something like that like speaking on screws like nick said tamper proof screws yep yeah Boom. you know that, that that's something that's totally different and out of the world of everything that especially talking from industrial revolution days or back then it was just literally a flathead screw which fuck all you assholes for inventing that first right <laughs> it needed to be I said I'm the only one who hates flathead it screws. needed to be said i, I hate flathead yeah. screws and here's a prime example of flathead screws fuck you guys for using that Even i mean what, what, what's the point Scru the the flathead screwdriver never fucking stays in Use no. an impact. It ain't ever going to stay in. No, it, it no, I, how, how much harder it is it to in. put another line on there and make that bitch a Phillips? 
even yeah. even from that, okay, even if back then they didn't have the manufacturing capability to do Phillips, how they had the hacksaw, cut it this way and then cut it that way. But okay, you can make a say, plus sign. They invented math. Say say they can't make that Phillips. How easy would it have been to make the fucking square bit back then? It's oh. a square. Boom, boom. <laughs> like everything, all Dude, the even better, machine, a that's fucking how they round bit. They started Come on, as Jay, the round bit. It's a circle. No edges, just round. Yeah, you sound like a fucking CNN reporter. Okay, well. <laughs> the city I work in is kind of fucking liberal, so, you know. <laughs> Maybe I caught something wrong down there. Something that I'm, that I'm not going to bring up. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, but it was just funny. Yeah, yeah. no. Mm-mm. I'll give it to you this time. Next time, no. That's what she said. I mean, no is always you're, the you're, answer, you're, but whatever. Yeah, it, well, in your case, maybe. You're threatening two people that tend to know a lot about your personal life, bud. <laughs> Realistically. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Uh, yeah. Anywho, exactly. So, uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he makes that a good, poor he makes a good bastard. Point. That yeah, that no, needs really. to be underlined. Poor bastard needs to be underlined right. because he's at exactly the very right. least. I think to make the slotted style work, one, it should have been a deeper route, and then two, it should have edges over here. That way, it literally has to yes. fit in there, especially you know I mean? with today's technology. Right. Um. I, but I understand it from back then. It was easy to make, but still, I think it would have just been as easy to make a square. And yeah, I, I think it would have been just as easy to make a Phillips. If they would have made the square head instead of the flat head, I would have literally bowed down to God every day of my life. <laughs> Except, and it, like, now, right now, I'm just like, yeah, you motherfuckers, you invented that flat head screw. A, a man hmm. must have a code. Even to all the people who still put flat flathead screws on stuff. Well, what the hell is wrong with electricians? They use them on everything. Everything. Why? Everything. I can't even take the cover off a goddamn plug without fucking slipping off and almost sticking it in the fucking outlet and shocking You would have thought from sheer safety they would have been like, no, we need to go to Phillips. They stick in a lot better. It's safer. No, Some... let's just keep using the flathead. Well, and... Hey, hey, here's a fucking thought. Back to these square heads again. All the breakers use squares, so why wouldn't we put squares on the plugs, switches, and the fucking covers, too? You'd have one fucking screwdriver to do the whole thing. Yeah, no. Marketing, bro. Marketing. Yeah. So I don't see how that's a marketing issue. You're, you're just a CNN reporter. <laughs> I pretty much lost, like, my whole train of thought and everything. I, I, I want to say something so bad every time you say that, but... It's not. Do it. What? Do it. No. We we we, we. If you don't do it, I'm sending you a picture of my butthole after this is done. We we, we have to get Project Veritas going. Uh, What's Veritas? You mean you mean that channel we were talking about uh, doing? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely need to get that going because we could really make some fucking content on that shit, man. Right. Um. Anyway. Veritas so, has no meaning. I, I just shh, shh. He, he's. Yeah, I can see him over there, like his little wheels are turning, trying to figure out why I why I chose that name. Um. So, yeah, I, I'm not even gonna go any further because I feel like at this point I'm just gonna go too far off a tangent. Um. No, 1927 Craftsman invented the worst tools ever made. I think we hit all the points. They were but, so they were so enough. bad that when the industrial revolution began, they shut them down. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but fear not, they upstaged the wall. Okay, that's all that matters. What's that? <laughs> I They're said, better fear than not, they guys. upstaged the wall because the wall came out in 1924. <laughs> They're better than Ryobi. DeWalt came out in 1924, 1927. Craftsman was like, hold my beer. But 
something big that I'm into now that I know Nick is too, and probably Caleb because you know we're guys that that kind of appreciate quality things. Is there's a lot of manufacturers now who are kind of they're not strictly making things the way they used to be by hand, you know, because that would be incredibly cumbersome and everything like that. But they're starting to bring that handmade feel back to things, but they're starting to use modern technology to give them the extremely tight tolerances like that. Um, well, Japan has never stopped doing that. Yeah, really. Uh, Japan and Germany are really big with stuff like that. They're really yeah, big with I, the quality of the Truth quality. be told. I picked up a pair of Knipex um, pliers a yeah. few years ago, two, three yeah. years ago. I literally went and threw out my Irwin channel locks. I was like, these are the biggest pieces of crap. I, I bought. And, and I'm all bought, about made in America. I, I bought, and, and on what Nick's saying, I bought one pair of Knipex covers, one pair, and I threw out all four other pairs of channel locks I had. Um, the ones that are actually channel lock brand that are made right here in Meadville, Pennsylvania. And I threw out all my Milwaukee ones just because nothing compared. Nothing. The Milwaukee ones are garbage. They are garbage. Truthfully. I'm a sorry. Milwaukee fan, so, but they're garbage. Sorry, Milwaukee, but not sorry. Your tape measures and your channel locks suck dick. Oh, the tape measures are all right. Nah, they um, suck. Anyway. The, the only... Um, I have a new one made by Crescent that's actually pretty fucking awesome. Is it that uh the one with the black back yes. with the yellow? Yeah, that looks yeah. sweet. That I I have one in it. it it's only like it's a like the high foot. vis or something. Yeah, it's only like a sixteen foot or something like that. Just because I don't want to buy like you know a longer one because traditionally like in my like if I do side work and stuff sometimes I do still construction shit because that's where I came from. Um, so sometimes I still need like 30, 35 foot they measure. Um. But I bought like a 16 foot or something just to use for HVAC, just to try it out. And man, it is really fucking good. I really, really, really like it. The only pair of channel locks I still have is an old, an old pair of, I think they're actually channel lock brand. I, I'd have to go look at them for sure. But I mean, they're so old that the teeth are all worn off the jaws and everything like that. Yeah. And, um, but I mean, they're, they're back like, the old school made in America. I think they were my grandfather's like, yeah, well, I, can I tell keep you them in the like house the, just for small projects. Like, you know, on the topic of tools like that, um, it would be different. So they could say hey, exactly. That was that marketing thing that Hudson mentioned earlier. Yep. That's, trust me. That, that was, that was kind of the difference between industrial revolution times and modern times is back then they were looking you know, we're going to serve our customers best by making something that lasts, but then they realize it lasted too goddamn long, so they couldn't stay in business. <laughs> so that's where we're kind of at now. Anyway. Um, well, it's the automotive industry. Yeah, the, those Knipex covers are great. Another thing that... The um, Weira screwdrivers and the Weha screwdrivers. Exactly. That's where I was going. Um, I use the Weira insulated screwdrivers. They're I use both. If I if I would have if I would have thought about that I was going to bring them up I would have brought them up here, um, just right, we're going to go through like, tool bags and stuff too. So yeah, it's something we could go through later. Um, just in general, like I'm using them on a disconnect, okay, for an air conditioner. Just I don't know what it is, but for some reason those screwdrivers when I slide them even into the slotted screws, the flatheads that I fucking hate with a passion. I slotted we're a screwdriver in there and it is the exact size of the slot. They have those laser etched edges that stay in there and it just fits tight. And they, they make their tools in a way that something that's bullshit and annoying to me. Is it's no longer bullshit and annoying, right? They, I got the they, same exact ones, dude. And yeah, like they really they make fit. Their shit. They've when got I, the little laser etch for grip. Right. The, when, the grip so, actually grips. Not 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 to hit on these guys at all. And you know, Klein's one of my my favorite manufacturers, but mm, don't get if me I take on Klein. When it comes to some things, some things. Not their eleven and ones because they suck dick. Fuck you. Anyway. Don't um, get me started on a Klein pretty much at all. Yeah. I uh, have one Klein tool that I actually like. I have two. I have a pair of linemans and a pair of dykes, and that's it. <laughs> I, maybe a pair of strippers. I don't know. 
I typically use the Milwaukee ones. Sure. Or the oh, those Milwaukee ones are sweet, dude. They are sweet. Um, Strippers. But so Kentucky. even even with something like Klein, it's USA made, supposed to be top notch. Um, you stick that square head tip from that screwdriver into a breaker and go like this when it's tight. You're going to get the wiggle. I take my Weera number two square and stick it in there, and that son of a bitch is tight as hell. It's like going from a hooker to a virgin. <laughs> you guys knew that, that's gonna get us that's that's the one <laughs> that's the end right there that's how we're gonna leave this video off Hopefully and and, and 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 the the viewer count just went to zero <laughs> especially since i think the last person that commented was a woman sorry <laughs> i believe she was a stripper not the virgin yeah if it helps you, I think you're the virgin. Not she the needs to do some Kegels. Yeah. Yeah. Given your name, you seem like the virgin type. Oh, dear God. Yeah, it's fucked up. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, and this is why we drink. Yeah, history tools, boys. History, history tools. tools. You never thought there would be rifles, handguns, and strippers and virgins talked about in the same fucking video with hand tools. But, hey, you never watched this channel, motherfucker. <laughs> and the, oh, well said. Well said. The, I think the, she just the, called me the a best part is, The best part is, is me and you both know him, Caleb, and it caught both of us off guard. That's that's good, then. That means that What's was that? Really that's, I'm, I mean, applause. Yeah, really. You know, if both of you guys were caught off guard by that one, then that means I... I, I mean, imagine what the viewers... Well, I just got caught. I mean, I, I wasn't... I wasn't caught too, too off guard. I just been trying to hold on my, uh, my comments for like the entire fucking show. <laughs> I'm not going to hey, say I'm the most well-spoken person out there. I will say this. To the American-made like side of things, and Angelo, if he's still out there in the chat... He knows I've got an American made like Ace Hardware brand screwdriver. That thing's got fucking magic in it, dude. That is you like, know, dude. Oh, yeah. It I've started out found, as a joke. I found them. Uh, I found a cheap brand, too, that really seems to work for me for some reason. Lennox. They're the, the, the 11 they, ones. They, they seem a, to work it's really a good. Good screwdriver, dude. They, anything Lennox, really. One, I like the handle on it. I have a package of their, um, just like assorted screwdrivers. What the I hell use is he doing? He's things. like looking off in the corner and his arm is moving. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. I was doing. getting rid of a uh, fucking bug, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I'm, not saying that, I'm not saying that there's not mass produced stuff out there. More, you know, like Chinese shit. I mean, it's just for lack of a better term, it's all the shit produced in China that's produced millions and millions at a time. Versus like Weera shit and Weeha shit that's produced in smaller quantities and much more expensive. There's not high, co there's not there's stuff not out there that much more expensive though. That's the thing. Yeah. Well, especially with I mean, Weera, given the, the so level the of quality set that you I get. got, if you buy Weera stuff by the set, you can do pretty well. I got like six screwdrivers for like 35 bucks. Now, I haven't gotten in contact with Weera about this yet. I did snap one. And um, it's in my bedroom over there. But um, I did have to buy a replace. I just bought a replacement one just short term. Um, and it was expensive to buy an individual one. Um, but if you buy a set of them, man, they're great. And, you know, it's still, I don't know. There, it, and, and even when I'm just working on, like, if something I know that's dead or even a thermostat or something like that. I just like having the insulated screwdriver just because I never know what the fuck's going to happen. I've been in situations where something's been off and somebody went and turned it back on. I've been in situations where I was messing with I had a guy stuff. tell me to turn a breaker on the other day after, like, right after somebody turned it off. He's like, just turn it back on. I'm like, or no. No. Yeah. He's like, why not? I'm like, well, because I've been in a situation him. where somebody accidentally hooked up 240 to a 24-volt circuit. Talk yep. about being surprised. But I you think know. these are all conversations for later. We're going to get into yeah. our tool bags in the future. 
And we're going to get into like reviewing different tools and stuff. I think the next one we'll do is we'll do the history of the power tools. Power and then tools, we'll kind of. Thankfully, not me. We should probably not use Hudson because he likes craftsmen. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's his turn. It's his turn. I did the history of the trade. You did the tools. He's got to do the power tools. It's all on yep, you, buddy. Right. If there's no all craftsmen, 19, there, 1927 I, to present, Ugh, craftsmen. I, I will give you one craftsman bullet point and outside of that i will i don't know i'll get one of those police tasers and hook it up to your nutsack thanks already did it love it um, i'll do it again are we doing the tool bags kind of after the power tools or i don't yeah, we'll do the tool bags after the power okay. tools yeah i have mine here in the house um i don't have a veto right now i'm working on getting another one but i just have something that Lowe's has I, right I got one sitting in the right closet there. right over there. I have Vitas around here, but my collection has just grown to where I've outgrown the ones I have. So I need something else. But then again, you got to get that backpack, dude. That backpack. I was going to say it. Everything has changed too, based upon what I'm doing for a living. So that dictates what you have too. But um, oh, we definitely went long on this one. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it was a very broad subject. And as is the power tool things that Caleb's going to do, it's it's a super broad subject. There's a, an extra, maybe not as much on power tools as hand tools and everything else, but it's still going to be a really, really deep history. Because realistically, his power tool stuff is going to date back to where I was talking in the Industrial Revolution. Because... right. Power Which is why steam. it's a perfect spot Power to leave off. Coal. You know what I mean? So this stuff really, really dates back. So it's a lot of information to go through and try to pick out stuff and everything. And um, I wrote down and some that notes. will be. I didn't really use the, them that much, truthfully. That will be the 4th of March is when we'll be back to do that. I did not oh, use those notes very much at all. That's but, okay. What I did is I read the article, wrote it down, so then I remembered it. So that's how I there kind of went about it. Um, yeah, it, it's such a broad thing. It's hard to do it in just an hour, especially when, like, you know, okay, we have a couple minutes for intro or we just come in we're talking or whatever, and then we're waiting for people to get in here, and then we do our quote and stuff. It, it's hard on broad subjects like this. I feel like well, it's I think in the future we're gonna we're gonna start out with the quote a little bit and use that while people trickle in. So yeah, but that's all stuff that we'll just. I feel like the tool bag one is gonna be uh, our our tool setup is gonna be pretty long too, just because there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, maybe maybe not so much with Caleb. No offense to you, just because of giving your job, it's not you don't need as much shit as maybe. Oh, I'm not. I'm not bringing my backpack. I'm just gonna bring uh, my go bag. I well, I, oh, maybe mine will be long then because I have that fucking big bag downstairs that I'll be using. I've got but, a truck, but that's gonna change anyway. But Given as always, guys, more, like, comment, news. share, subscribe. If you think this was worth sending us some money, which I think we've offended everybody that we have as Probably, viewers, considering that the last comment said something about me being a clown. Yeah, we're yeah. definitely not getting a dollar out of her. No, for what it's worth, I think you're worth two dollars, sweetheart. Ah. I'll tell I'll tell you something about her after the show. I actually I know who that is. Mm. Oh, he turned sideways mm. again. Neat. He's sideways again. Um, <laughs> I'm not Happens. the most well. I'm not the most well spoken person, but I do thank you all for watching. I do appreciate your time and dedicating it to us. Um, those of you who actually... he's, he's just fully like committed the sideways thing now. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Everybody just he's ignore gonna... Caleb. He, he's just oh, we, we, we can look. I can click right here and bam, he's off the screen. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> we, we don't have to worry about him for two fucking weeks, okay? So just ignore him. Well, if we haven't offended you and you feel like sending us a dollar, the PayPal information is in the description. Just one dollar helps. It may help Caleb eventually in like three or four years get better Dude, internet. He, he he's he's got the camera that I have. That's the thing. Well, so the other thing is I didn't have time to pick it up tonight. 
or hook it up. So eventually, next I'm week though. There. So I mean, two weeks. You gonna listening. do it next week? You just gonna what? Sit on here and fucking stare into it by yourself? Realistically, yeah, I'm gonna look at it. It's understandable that you guys may not want to contribute or something like that to a smaller channel like us. Um, but realistically, we ask for that because the only way we can improve ourselves and become better is with the help of you guys. That's the like, comment, subscribe stuff. And then also, if you are generous enough to donate to us, you know, everything right now, obviously, given the viewers, none of us are making any money off of this. You know, we're doing this because we actually enjoy doing it. And so everything that you guys can possibly give us is literally just going back into the content on here. And just because everything seems kind of stupid right now doesn't mean we're not going to get there. We have people in the works coming in and interviewing stuff. And these aren't people who are just like service guys like me and Nick and Hudson, who, yes, he's kind of in a little bit of a higher profile, but, you know, he's still out there in the field just kind of doing stuff. We have people coming up and stuff who are owners who run multi-million dollar businesses and everything else. And, and then also people we're working on getting here who are still out in the field, but are very high profile people out in the field. Um, so, you know, it's stuff that we're really working on, you know, and fortunately for me and Nick, um, I keep going like this, like you're over here, but you're over here. Um, I, I still, yeah, it's, it's like, all I, I still have a master debt. Nick's over here. Um, but That's fortunately for us, you know, um, through a Facebook group, we were fortunate enough to make a lot of really good friends and a lot of really high places and people all over the country. Um, who are just really, really smart guys and, you know, have been in this trade a really, really long time. And so we've been really fortunate in that respect. And, you know, we're, we're even more fortunate now that these people are willing to come in and talk with us on these videos and everything else. So, you know, I understand that things are a little slow right now, but if you guys really stay tuned and really keep with us, I promise there are more things coming that, should hopefully be more interesting to you and, you know, hopefully maybe be more inspiring to you because you look at me and him and you're like, okay, well, you guys have been in the field for years and you're just service techs. So, okay. Well, now you look at these guys, they've been in the field for years and now they're running multi-million dollar companies. You know what I mean? So there's different aspects to look at it just because me and Nick over here <laughs> aren't, uh, don't own our shit, you know, doesn't mean, one doesn't mean that we haven't made a really good living off of it. And two, that may not be our aspirations. I could tell you truthfully. That, I was going to say ownership is a. Yeah. In this day and age, I, different thing. in this day and age, I truly have no hopes to own my own company. I, I do not wish to do it at all. I have no hopes and dreams of it. Um, when I first started, yes, I did. Nowadays, no, not at all. I want no parts of it. I, to all those who own companies and everything or, even manage companies, fucking, I, I respect you way more than I respect myself. <laughs> because that is a fucking ball game that I cannot handle. Well, on that note, the other thing you can always do is uh, you can always just use the Amazon affiliate link. We get credit for that. We get a little, uh, they chip off a couple of dimes for us. And like he said, we're Basically, trying to put it like all a- back into the... If you spend a thousand dollars, we get like a penny or two. Yeah, so. it, it, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> it, we're 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 kind of low level, so you know everything right now. All our affiliates and stuff like that are minimal. Um, but as time goes on, you know, if you guys also can help us spread the word, you know what I mean. If you say, hey, you know, these what guys. What the fuck are you doing? Life. Trying to find your good side? <laughs> if the, you're talking about these guys, yeah. you know. Or, that are tradesmen and really getting in depth with it and stuff like that that helps us you know more than you ever know because realistically we can't do anything without you guys that's it but we're gonna get off here guys we'll see you on the 4th of march hudson will be presenting probably some subpar information about craftsmen hell yeah man <laughs> it's probably the same quality as his wi-fi
There you go. Sometimes better. You never know. Until next time, guys and gal. <laughs>